In this video, I'll show you how to set up a Node Express static web server in five minutes. If you'd like to follow along with the code examples, please clone this GitHub repo. Here in package.json, I have an npm scripts start, and that points to, it basically executes the command node web hyphen server slash app.js. So what that's saying is if you type npm start in terminal, it will pass this to node and it's saying, hey node, look in the um, web server folder and execute app.js. So let's look at that file. So in app.js we create three variables. The first variable is a reference to the express node module. The second variable is path, which is a reference to the node path module, which we'll talk about in a few seconds. And the third variable is an instance of Express, so we're instantiating Express. So next up, we're setting the port. We're saying app.set port to 3000. I could easily have just created a variable called port name or port equals 3000, but it's kind of a good practice because there's other places in the code we might want to get the value of port. Uh, next on this line, we're saying app.use, we're calling the use method of app, and we're passing it basically a folder name. We're saying express.static. Express.static is a really important method. It, this is where kind of all the action happens. It's telling Express, hey, my entire application is going to start here. This is the root of our static web server. And we're using the dir name uh, node keyword to say whatever we're, whatever folder we're in, and right now we're in this folder. We're in the web server folder. We're going to go up to, up one level, and then look in the www folder. So this dot dot slash means go up one level and look in www. So if we go up one level from app.js, we wind up in web server, and then we go into www. So this is a really important line, and this is kind of what makes uh, Express, one of the things that makes it so special is this line right here would require dozens of lines of code if you wrote it yourself with Node to check for file types and um, extensions and then uh, serve the correct files. Here we're just saying that to note to express, hey, if somebody looks, if somebody makes an HTTP requests, request in the www folder, just satisfy that request, whatever the kind of file it is that's being requested. So it could be an HTTP, HT, um, HTML file, a JPEG, a GIF, a JavaScript, CSS, whatever it is, just satisfy that request. And then we're saying app listen. So we're telling the express app to listen on port number 3000, we're saying app.get ports, whatever the value of port is, it goes here, it's 3000. And this callback, in this case, is simply for demonstration purposes. So what we're saying is once that web server has started, log this message to the console, which we'll see in a second that when we start the web server, we'll see a message that says the server is running on HTTP, colon localhost, and then we use app.get to get the port number. So this will say, it's running on port 3000. So um, let's fire up the web server. I'll go to a terminal and I'll run the command uh, npm start. And as you can see, we get that message. The server is running on HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 3000. And if we look back at the code example again, we see that message is being set here. So now we know the web server is running. Let's take a look at simple web page. And I'll look at localhost colon 3000, and we see the example web page. Nothing too special, but if you look in our JavaScript console and you look at the network tab, and then refresh the page, you'll see there's two network requests going out. The first one is for localhost, and if we look at the response, we see that we're getting HTML back. So that's the contents of our HTML page. And the second uh, request is for the node logo. That's actually coming from uh, KevinChisholm.com. Let's look at why those requests happen. Well, here in the www folder, we have index.html, and index.html is a very special name that says to any web server, hey, if the user doesn't specify a file name, serve up this one. And uh, this we can disregard as just some C compressed CSS that makes the page look a little styled. But um, this is what we actually see in the browser. And here is the reference to the image file. So this is another HTTP request. So again, it's kind of points to what makes the Express static web server so powerful is that there are two requests first for this actual page for the index.html file. 
And then in the index.html file, we make another HTTP, HTTP request for this image. So this, um, this line right here does all of the heavy lifting there. It says, look, whatever HTTP request is made to the www folder, just satisfy it. And um, that uh, we could easily have gone to the browser and said, um, I want to see localhost colon 3000 in index.html and we get the same thing it's just an index.html is a name that we don't have to specify we can just go to the root but the point here is that uh, express does a lot of work it saves you a tremendous amount of time just by setting up your static folder for the web server to run in and in that folder any request that's made the request is uh, satisfied um, by Express, regardless of the, the file name or the extension, it just takes care of all that for you. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you're looking for more tutorials about Node, please visit my blog.